Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. A couple things to go over today. First off, my favorite subject is always Benny Keys, the wannabe hitman. Benny, you going after Ziggy so badly, dogging her. Real life crap. Getting into her personal life. And yet now you have her up, you threw her up on panel. Wishy washy or fake drama? That's the question. It really is a question, Benny. That goes for you too, Ziggy. I mean, you bitched about how you couldn't stand him, and yet you're all on the same panel. Gotta love it. Also, dragging me into a tiff, which has been done. I'm not going to get all the details because I'm not feeding into it. Don't do it. Because I won't fall for the bait. Just trying to give you a heads up. Because I look at it this way, it's none of my damn business. So don't drag me into it. And the person watching this knows what, what I mean. Another thing that's been bugging me is I read the comments. You know, people have personal lives. And yeah, I hate to honestly say it. People want to get those into people's personal lives. Whether people when they're not invited. Then they make judgments. Well, I want everybody to think about something. Do you know their personal story? Did you walk in their shoes? Walk a mile in their shoes, and then you might then you can make a comment about it. I mean, this is a blanket thing in reality for everybody. But in this case, I'm actually thinking of share. Because y'all bitching about it, she left her kids. Well, I, do you know the history or anything behind it? I mean, I started doing a, I was going to do a video on this just and I kept, couldn't do it. I think I, I don't know why. I mean, it's, to be bluntly honest, it's none of anybody's damn business in the first place. I don't, none of us know the backstory. So how can anybody say, make comments? There could be a million reasons what happened. I, I guess I'm looking this way. I was a lousy dad. I honestly was. I couldn't stand my ex. And I was married to the highway. To me, driving trucks is more important than anything. And that was my own screw ups. The third woman I've been, been in love with for almost 25 years is straightened that one out. And that was an uphill battle. My point is, people, you don't know the backstory, you don't know the truth. You can read what some clown puts up on YouTube. And you can take that as gospel when in reality, how the hell do they even know? They don't. So, my point is, unless you've walked a mile in their shoes, know the actual history of what's going, what happened, don't be judging people. <laughs> Excuse 
excuse me, because I guarantee you, none of us are innocent. So it comes out to the pot calling the kettle black. And that's not right. Now, I've heard comments about people being wishy-washy on this case. Oh, stop thinking about something else. All the games have been played and all the way everything's leaning one way or the other. And you also remember how many times the YouTubers come up and said one thing when it's just to get clicks and views. I'm an oddball. I openly admit it. I figured Donna Candace her father's guilty of sin. That, my point, that, for me, that's never changed. Since day one, I've said that. And you'd have, let me put it this way. People in hell will get ice water before my opinion changes. And I don't think that's going to happen. Now, I talked to, I'm not going to get all the details. Cause I had to put deliver to a cop yesterday. Let's put it that way. I started to give too much. And then I briefly talked about this mess. They know Don and Candace are guilty of sin, but they can't get the evidence to prove it. Don was Mirandized by Utah. This particular person didn't know the whole story. Well, sorry, Donnie boy, he does now. Oops, I did it again. So people will form their own opinions because of final, final, final evidence. And to me, evidence is like DNA. True evidence is like DNA. It don't lie. People's stories will lie seven ways from Sunday. But true evidence will not lie. But just these are things you need to think about today. I couldn't sit down with Don for more than five seconds before I didn't lose my temper. That pretty much goes with everybody in this case. Although Candace should be lucky because I can't hit a woman. If I would ever break that rule, it would not be you, it would be somebody else. And as much as I'd like to break that rule, I'd never have with that person either. That's one of my gold standards I can't do. Unless one of my older sisters and we're hollering around, well, that's a bothered ballpark. She fights rough. But her and I haven't walked around in a billion years. But I was only about playing around. But I had a serious system. Now, you saved it, Candace. There's one thing I don't. Can't do. Oh, by the way, on a side note, that post I put up on that isn't a beautiful house. If you're still watching this. That was my grandfather, grandfather, grandmother's. The mobile home. It's been there for a million years. When they bought it, they bought it with 11 acres of property. I looked at pictures from last. I took it off Google last year just to see what it was still there. The value on a place went up through a roof. Hey, what the hell? All right. Me go to work. And Benny, you're a fake ass bitch. You're still a scumbag, still worse than a cockroach. 
I think he, I don't know about you, I, why you'd even be involved with that yuts. But these are just my opinions. So, everybody have a good day. Catch you on the flip-flop.